In this session, we are going to discuss 2D shearing. So, a shear is something that pushes things sideways. So, let us suppose we are having a deck of cards. So, now if I give a push sideways at the very top level, something like this, then you can find that the bottommost card will remain as it is and the topmost card will get a displacement and all other cards which will be in between this bottommost and the topmost, the cards which are at the uh, nearer to the top level will have the more displacements compared to the other cards. So, that is known as shearing. So, the horizontal and vertical shear matrices will be something like this. So, that is a shear x s and here shear y s. So, this is the respective matrix we are going to have. So, whenever we are having this shear along the x axis and s is the respective factor of shearing. So, this is the matrix and for the y this is the matrix. So, let us go for one example. So, the transform that shears horizontally show that the vertical lines become 45 degree lines leaning towards the right. So, here we are having this respective matrix. So, that is our shear x 1, y 1 because tan of 45 is equal to 1 here. So, that is why you are considering this one as 1 because 45 degree is the degree mentioned in the problem. So, here we are considering this one 1. So, now if you go for the previous slide, so here you see here it will be 1, here it will be 1, here it will be 0 and here it will be s. So, now what is happening if you consider this, now if you consider here this is our tan of 45, we are getting this 1 here. So, now what will happen? We are having this shear along the x axis. So, we are pushing it, we are pushing it so that it will get sheared in this way and this is the respective transformation matrix. So, an x shear matrix moves point to the right in proportion to their y coordinates and now the square outline of the clock becomes a parallelogram. So, at first it is something like this, now it has become a parallelogram and, we, and as with scaling the circular face of the clock becomes an ellipse. So, it has become an, an ellipse. Okay. So, that is our uh, whenever doing the shearing along the x axis. So, now if we consider this example number 2, the transform that shears vertically so that the horizontal lines become 45 degree lines leaning towards the upward. So, here this angle is 45 degree. So, that is our y shear we require here. So, here this expression will be 1 0 1 and here it is tan of 45 degree. So, that is 1 here. So, shear y 1 y 1 it is tan of 45 degree. So, that is why we are getting this one and in this way the respective this diagram this particular picture has got sheared in this way. So, a y shear matrix moves point up in the proportion to their x coordinates. In both cases, the square outline of the sheared clock become, becomes a parallelogram and the circular face of the sheared clock becomes an ellipse. So, another way to think of a shear is in terms of rotation of only the vertical or horizontal axis. The shear transform that takes a vertical axis and tilts it clockwise by an angle of uh, angle of phi will be the expression the respective matrix will be this and similarly the shear matrix which rotates the horizontal axis counterclockwise by the angle of phi will be a matrix like this. So, in this way in our discussion we have, we have uh, through some examples we have discussed what is 2D shearing. Thanks for watching this video.